Hello everyone and welcome back to A Girl Named John. Did you miss me because I missed you? That being said, we're gonna get right into the thrift haul after a rapid fire life update. Number one, I'm married now. We got married back in April. It was fantastic, it was wonderful. It was everything I wanted it to be. Wedding planning was stressful, intense, crazy, took up 100% of my mental energy. But now that it's over, glad that I did it. That's kind of the biggest life update. Otherwise, life has been absolutely crazy, a complete That is to say, we are vibing, we are thriving, we are thrifting, we are living. So we're just gonna get right into the haul, which is what you came here for. Okay, so it was a really quick trip with my mom. We gave ourselves an hour time limit. We zipped in, zipped out. She wanted to look for some specific things. She is basically renovating their apartment. It's kind of amazing. Regardless, she had some specific things to look for. I just zipped around really quickly to some specific sections, one of which is dresses. So I have a few dresses to show you. They're basically all t-shirt dresses. I can't stop, won't stop. The t-shirt dress train is chugging along in this household. First one I'll show you is this absolutely beautiful black floral number. I like a floral that has a basic color as the base. So white floral, black floral. This one has really cute like bubble sleeves with the little elastic. It's a really long length. So you can transition this into fall with some tights, boots, a little denim jacket over it. Presh. Love the colors. You know me and my reds, pinks. So comfortable. It has a tiered skirt. Many of my t-shirt dresses have a little bit of that tiered skirt motif just because it gives them a little more zhuzh, a little more oomph rather than just being like a column of fabric, right? But I will be living in this for the foreseeable future. Staying on the vein of tiered skirts, we have this one from Gap originally. Uh, this one's more like bright and fun, very playful for summer. Super cute, probably be wearing this to the fair because I can just throw it on and look stylish and eat my foot long corn dog in peace. She's cute. Absolutely love this dress. Does it have pockets? Has pockets. How fun. Did you know t-shirt dresses can be formal because they can with the right cut and styling. This one I got specifically to wear to a wedding in the fall. She's stunning. I love burgundy. I love this neckline. It's almost like a traditional square neck, but then goes into like more of a sweetheart. It's like a modified, beautiful neckline. Super flowy and flattering. I love the empire waist too. That big waistband, ooh, looking snatched. But yeah, she's like a little longer than knee length. Again, very like flowy and flirty and fun. Will be perfect for the wedding. Stunning. This one is so cute. It looks very shapeless because it is very shapeless. It's originally from, I believe Old Navy, yes. But I just love the polka dots and the buttons down the back. It is so, so cute. Already wore it to my cousin's baby shower and yeah, it was just great for a baby shower, great to throw on and just be comfortable while also being cute. I'm really into polka dots, always. But yeah, this was a hit for the baby shower and I will continue to wear it while the weather is warm. And then polka dot with buttons, plain with buttons. This time the buttons are in the front. All right, here she is, gorgeous like a linen material. So when I'm going through, I'm always like feeling the fabrics as well. So the other one's also kind of a linen material, almost like a soft denim. Oh, gorgeous. Love the little ties on the sleeves. So cute. Again, more of like a midi length, right up my alley. 
had to have her. I actually had, oh, you saw it in my cottagecore lookbook. I had a sleeveless version of this from Target. I wore it, it got worn, the buttons started popping. I was just like, it's time to move on from her. But now I have found her replacement. That's kind of been the vibe lately with my closet is I know what I like. So I'm just finding replacements for things that I already have or different colorways, little variations on things that I already have because I've narrowed it down to what I want to wear now. I guess another life update is that I dyed my hair. Haven't dyed my hair in like 10 years, thought it was time. Red highlights. <laughs> Speaking of replacements, so I have my checkered cigarette style pant capris. I wore them to get engaged in. I absolutely love those pants. The zipper has busted. I was absolutely devastated the last time I put them on and I tried to zip and the zipper just like wouldn't go. I was holding it, doing all the things, took them off, tried to zip it, still wouldn't go. I was like, oh no. It's a nylon zipper, so like the little, little teeth have been warped. I've worn them so much, I've had them for years. I refuse to get rid of them because I could replace the zipper, but like, ain't nobody got time for that. Uh -huh. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I'm, I'm holding on to them because maybe someday I will have time for that. But in the meantime, I found sort of a replacement, a pseudo replacement. They're these little like Bermuda shorts. So they're more summer leaning. I wore those into the fall and winter with boots and things, but these will just be will be a temporary summer replacement, but they're so cute. I think they're also navy instead of black and white, but still just, oh, I love them. I may also wear these to the fair. But they're long enough to be flattering, and I don't feel like my, my booty butt's gonna hang out. So yeah, I like them a lot. They're really cute. They're giving 90s mom. I'm into it. These shorts are definitely more casual. They're just for running around the house, for running errands. Little athleisure, waffle knit brown. Big, nice, stretchy waistband. So nice and comfortable. They're not fuzzy on the inside, so they're not gonna be hot. And I know it's like, what do you mean shorts can be hot? Well, if they're fuzzy on the inside, yeah. But these ones aren't, they're just cotton all the way through. Very nice, I like them. So then we weren't gonna go into like the blouses or the sweaters or anything like that. But we were standing at the front of the store, which is where like the sleeveless shirts are. And I was like, eh, let's just take like a super quick look. I don't know what compelled me. I'll show you in a minute. But first things first, I found this guy. Look at the Peter Pan collar and the polka dots. Super into polka dots and florals. Those are probably my favorite patterns. But like, oh, and the little button on the back. I had to, it's a medium, but I did try it on. It fits just fine. But I just had to with the Peter Pan collar and the little polka dots. I love this. This could be a layering piece. This could stand on its own. She's beautiful. And I had to have it. Then I also found this really pretty work shirt. I really love the colors. I like the slouchy fit. It has this ruching on the sides to really like snatch your waist. I like the pattern too. It's pretty unique, but it's still wearable. But yeah, fits right into my wardrobe. Very easy to style. Very easy to wear. It's originally from Ann Taylor. Working women's attire, you know? Very cute. Then, out of the corner of my eye, sticking out from the rest of the hangers, like literally like it was sticking out, I saw the reason I was compelled to go to the sleeveless section, and it is this. We all know I already found my dream Halloween sweater. 
Well, now she has a sister and that's just fine. I also have my Nutcracker Christmas vest. I don't know. I had to look at the little bears and they're all dressed up trick-or-treating and there's like all this really fun beadwork it's so sparkly and like oh my gosh the little candy corns between the buttons are you kidding I absolutely had to have this I you know I love dressing to a theme if it's a holiday party I'm rocking with the holiday like I have Valentine's Day sweaters I have green for St. Patrick's Day I will wear patriotic stuff on 4th of July like that's just who I am as a person I love a theme I love a reason to have all this kooky stuff in my wardrobe she's beautiful and I cannot wait for fall it's gonna be a great time she is gonna be a staple in my closet forever. Like I'll be 70 and I'll still be rocking with her and she'll still be rocking with me. You know what I mean? Then we were checking out and in the checkout line they have like what I call the trap stuff where it's like on display and they know it's like kind of the nicer, more cool home decor stuff. And they have the mannequins up there with like the fancy clothes. So my mom saw this clock and was like, will you go check that out for me? So I walked over there, looked at the clock. It didn't have any hands, which I know you can replace, but she was like, I'm not trying to mess with that. But then beside the clock, huh, I saw what I'm calling the cookie casino. It is a cookie jar shaped like a slot machine. And I absolutely had to have it. I have to have a little whimsy in my life to distract from the horrors, you know what I mean? I will never be a minimalist because would a minimalist have this? Maybe, if it was their only cookie jar, I suppose, but I think it's a little too colorful for that lifestyle. But yeah, it's so cute. I haven't taken the price tag off, so it was six bucks. It did get wiped down, but I haven't like tried to peel the stickers off yet. But it just has like very, very minimal cracks, but you can't even really tell because it's so like brightly colored and fun. I just, I had to have it. You know what I mean? Will I ever actually put cookies in it? Probably not. It's a display piece. It's a collector's item. I love it. I had to have it. She's beautiful. Okay. That was everything. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below which piece was your favorite. I love you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, hi. This is definitely going in the bloopers section, but I just got this heatless curler at the Dollar Tree, and this is my first time trying it. So if my hair looks crazy in the video, you know why. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. We're gonna look at this together. I'm very nervous. I'm super, super nervous because I've seen these all over TikTok. So like TikTok made me buy whatever. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> oh my! Wait. Wait. Hold on. Slay. Okay, yeah, that was surprisingly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, this little noodle from the Dollar Tree gets an A plus. I mean, hi, she's gorge. Whoopsie. in the world? Jeez Louise.